this estate, the fourth estate, is really the protector of democracy. Without a free press, there is no real democracy. Free press, what does that really mean? That you are free, yes, to state your ideas, thoughts, and opinions in a democratic society. But a free press is not a controlled press. A free press is that, free, to determine what the truth is and to write and speak that truth to the betterment of that society. The founding fathers of this great nation knew that in order to protect this nation and to keep it forever in the light of God, perpetually moving toward perfection, freedom of speech and freedom of the press and freedom of religion and freedom of assembly must be protected. Without free speech, we are hindered from saying the things that might correct a democracy that has gone off course. Without a free press, we cannot say the things that would keep the nation from falling into the abyss after the nation reaches its zenith and becomes wealthy and powerful and influential yet corrupt. Good men don't buy newspapers for good purposes. Good men don't buy television stations for the good of the masses. The masses are being fed filth, ignorance, stupidity, garbage in the name of news, in the name of media, in the name of television, in the name of entertainment. And as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. And whatever a man eats, that's what that man is. And if you feed your public filth and ignorance and degeneracy, then what should you expect from them when you have the right and the privilege to feed the human mind? Then to feed the human mind lies mixed with truth, skewing the truth, hiding the truth, manipulating the truth for this one's benefit and to that one's degradation is not my idea of protecting democracy and the fundamentals of a democracy. You say, well, wait a minute, Farrakhan, I, I didn't come here to have you lecture us on our business. I didn't come to lecture you on nothing else but your business. And since you invited me, I think I have a right to talk to journalists about what you are supposed to be doing. You are a National Association of Black Journalists that work for white institutions. And white folk did not hire you to really represent what black people are really thinking. And you don't really tell them what you think because you are too afraid of the little cheap gig that you have. And this does not protect democracy and it does not represent the black community. We are the suffering ones that put you where you are, so why shouldn't you stand up and represent the best of what we are? You didn't get there because you were so skilled. 
some Negroes got to throw in some Molotov cocktails one day. And white folk didn't want to come uptown and they had to raid the black press to find some black person who would do the job. They pulled you away from the black press and they brought you into the mainstream media. And you became happy to be mainstream. This is not the River Jordan. This is a corrupt stream. And now we got to purify it to protect the nation that you say you love and the people from whom you came that demand better from you. You don't know me. That's sad. You've known me a long time, some of you. And when you hear them beating the hell out of me because I'm supposed to be an anti-Semite and a bigot, it would be really nice to hear your brother who applauds you behind the door say something out front that he's not the man that you all think he is. He's a lot better than that. Black journalists, you have a responsibility. Well, you know, we are, we're journalists and, you know, we, we are supposed to have um, uh, 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 an opinion, but, but we're supposed to hide that and, and, and we're not supposed to, to lean in this Wait a minute, wait a minute. The only reason you got an NABJ is because you didn't feel you could express who you are, where you are, so you had to organize who you are so that you could be more effective where you are. Isn't that right? I would like to see democracy protected because in a free society I don't have the right to holler fire in a crowded theater except that there is a fire. In a democracy, every voice has a right to be heard and weighed. Listen, listen. Because to, to label somebody, well, he's a hater. What does that mean? What does that really mean? He's a bigot. He's an anti-Semite. You mean to tell me with all the hatred, the bigotry, the anti-Semitism that is in this world, Louis Farrakhan now is the chief among all of that? You mean does truth not enter into this somewhere? If the man is telling the truth about what he says, whether it is critical of you, critical of me, critical of our people, critical of a government, critical of America, critical of Jews, critical of Christians, critical of Muslims. I have the right to say what I believe and you have the right to record what I say as I say it and don't mix it up. And if you are fair with me, then the public would see a truthful man, a sincere man, a committed man that wants to see his people free. And my people can never be free as long as thought control, mind manipulation is practiced by people in the media and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Now don't invite me no more. 
if you don't want me to talk to you like a brother that loves you and sees the value of this group don't get caught up in the Mercedes Benz and the imaging and how you look on TV get caught up in what you mean to a democratic society and what you mean to a suffering people it's sickening to turn on the news what's the news murder mayhem violence rape fire death don't you have anything else to report you say well that's what the people need want to hear no listen you have allowed the manipulation by advertisers. You could be in the middle of a great interview. If it's time for a commercial, thank you very much. Commercial. It ain't about truth. It's not about informing the public. So what are, what are you doing? 